Hey guys, Travis the here. And the Freak Joe. Bringing you another cemetery vlog here as we travel through Indiana. Yeah, this one's a much shorter one today. Um, this is a very small cemetery just outside of Paul Ruster Park in Prospect, Indiana. Paul Ruster Park is named after a, uh, a student from West Central High School who died of Hodgkin's disease. And um, the park was named after him and the cemetery just happens to be very nearby. Yeah, uh, some of the first to report strange happenings going on within the park were people who were themselves looked upon as strange uh, by casual observers. Uh, these were the weekend warrior gatherings of young people dressed as medieval knights wearing full combat regalia. Yeah, this is definitely satanic panic days with uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, this is a really cool cemetery. It's right off the road. It's hard to find. Um, we parked across the street and walked away, walked towards it. Um, it is just east of German Church Road in an area of woods, um, and the uh, the site is where an old farmhouse was. This seems to be an old Kitley family farm. It's over a century old, and it's very difficult to see unless you're standing right on top of it. Um, there are only two monuments in the cemetery that remain intact after all these years. One is for John W. King. And uh, the other is for Francis Kitley. Yeah, a legend claims that uh, many years ago, a 12-year-old boy living on the farm was killed while walking along a nearby train tracks. No one knows if he was struck by a train or whether some other harm befell him. Reportedly, he was uh, now buried in an unmarked grave within the foundation of his old house. Witnesses claim that if you walk the long path leading from the soccer fields through the woods to his grave nearby, uh, you could hear the boy playing his harmonica. Yeah, and you'll see his grave there with the harmonica and some other monuments given to him. Um, thanks for joining us. <laughs>